How's it going guys? It's the final render here. And oh my gosh people, this has been an exciting week hasn't it? Not only has the trailer dropped for Automatron, which looks pretty darn awesome, the very first DLC for Fallout 4, but I have actually passed 3,000 subscribers. At the start of the last video, I hadn't broken 2,000, which means in a week we have gained over 1,000 subscribers for the channel. It literally blows my mind that so many people are enjoying this content and I'm so happy to keep making it for you guys. I've got two huge projects going on at the same time, but here's one to keep you over until they're done. Let's go. So for this episode of Fallout 4, Building with Mods, we are going to Croup Manor. Croup Manor is a very bizarre location in Fallout 4 because it's such a pretty location. Everything about it just says, yes, this is a brilliant place for a settlement. But unfortunately, the place is just a complete wreck, almost to a degree where you can't really do anything feasible with it. But this is building with mods, so we're going to try. Firstly, we're going to use the mod Rebuild Croup Manor, and that just actually replaces all of the walls to have no holes in them, which is fantastic. A lot of these walls are also scrappable, so you could change them if you wanted to, but I decided to keep the original aesthetic. Even though the original textures are still there, it still looks great. And using spring cleaning, we are able to get rid of an awful lot of the scrap line around the place, including the bushes, all the bits of debris on the ground, stuff you can't normally re remove in the vanilla game. So I'm very happy that that's in there. And also, scrap dead things, similar to my last video, when you first find this place, it is infested with ghouls. Lots of ghouls. So we're going to get rid of those using that mod, just to tidy the place up. And here it is with everything kind of scrapped. Looks a lot nicer. And now, using Northland Grass, Trees, Landscape, Flora, etc. Nice title. We are going to be putting lots of effort into a front garden. The front garden, I think, should be the main thing you focus on with a building like this. And we're going to decorate it with lots of decorations, including things like pre-war cars from the Homemaker mod. And I needed a statue, so why don't I use craftable display mannequins, NPCs and PC as well? <laughs> Very long title. This is a mod which allows you to add NPCs as statues, including yourself. And you can choose their pose, you can pick their clothes, you can pick their equipment. So I decided to make a giant shrine devoted to me. After all, I did take down the institute. I think it would make sense that there is a huge statue devoted to me. Well, my character anyway. I think it looks pretty funny, you know, that's the main thing. I was gonna go with just a default statue, but just this mod is so funny <laughs> that I decided I had to keep it. And I decided to put some little shrubberies around just to make it look really, really nice. <laughs> it, it just looks funny and that's why I kept it in there. And you can, as I said, you can change all their poses so you can get different animation poses. And I went with this one, which is called the winning pose. And it's fantastic. And as I said, you can use other NPCs as well, including your companions. So now I decided to put up some little picket fencing around the place. I'm not sure if that's a mod. If it is a mod, it's probably Homemaker or Alternate Settlements. And I decided to put some hanging lights all around the front porch to make it look like a redneck, which has their Christmas lights on all year long, or whatever the song goes. And for the roof, I decided to go with craftable solar panels. I wanted to put something on the roof, but I didn't actually decide what to have in the end decoration-wise, so I decided solar panels. They look like a pretty nice decoration anyway, and I've arranged them as such so that it looks kind of pretty and blends in with the roof. They're beautifully animated, they give you power, they're law-friendly, you can't really go wrong with solar panels. I think they look really nice anyway. So carrying on, I'm going to put lots of grass on the outside, again from the Northland mod. I wanted to do this in my last video, but it was just too big a location, so it just was too much of a hit frame rate wise. But this is a smaller location, so I'm able to put all this luscious green grass in there, and it looks gorgeous, it really does. Focusing on the inside now, I'm going to put up some ceiling fan lights, these are just the vanilla ceiling fan lights, and put some wall lights on the outside, so it looks really pretty from afar. Oh, and also to update the shrine, I realised you couldn't see the statue of me at night, so I decided to put some lights out there as well. <laughs> it's brilliant, it's brilliant. Next it's time to focus on the inside. Starting with the master bedroom, we're going to use a pre-war bed to make it look nice and clean, and we're going to use lots of decorations from the homemaker and also OCD decorator. And I love this mod, it just adds loads of little items which are static, and then you can place them all around the tables, 
And here's a great one. Crowdable Fury 9000 GTX buildable armor stands, decorations and furniture. This is a mod that was created by DD Productions and Ellie Nora, definitely my two favourite mods. And they add lots of cool things such as little library sections for books. These armor stands look absolutely fantastic, I can't stress enough how good they are. And Ellie's craftable flower pots also add some nice decorations. The armor stands are brilliant, you can't put any clothes you want, it's only the default ones they picked. But there's an awful lot of variety and they're brilliant. So now going on into the bathroom, just a small little bathroom area, shower, mirror and a little cup full of toothbrushes that again is from the previous mod, that looks really really nice and a little toilet as well because, you know, everybody needs one. Small little area but it looks good, it's practical, it's all it really needs to be in my opinion. So now I needed to decorate a little outside porch area, I decided to have a little kind of barbecue area. So using craftable fire shadow lights, we've got some cool fire, fire barrels, we have got a fire pit. So it would be a nice place to sit in the summer, at night, with a beer, with your friends. It's a really nice little place I think. And now I needed a workshop. Most of my settlements aren't actually practical for gameplay because they just look pretty but they don't really have any function. So I decided to add a big workshop area which has pretty much every type of workbench I can think of currently just to make the place look really good and busy but also to give it some purpose. So now I can pretty much craft any item I want in the game by coming to Croup Manor and heading into this workshop area. Nice. Using just rugs I'm able to make a little floor for the kitchen area. I have no idea why I decided to carpet the kitchen but I was a bit fed up with the nasty wooden floor so I decided to use the blue rugs because I think that looks nice. It blends in with the Vault 101 Wanderers outfit and it looks pretty good. Not too many decorations but it's practical. It's got the table, it's got a cool Nuka Cola fridge, it's got some nice little decorations to make it seem practical. Next a little living area. Nothing too fancy about this living area. The computer's in the bedroom, television's in the bedroom, so let's just have a nice area to sit down. Put lots of decorations up such as Law Friendly Flag Pack HQ to put some cool flags around. And also I decided to put up some nice pictures from the standalone Atom Bomb pinups. These are really nice pictures, I use them in pretty much every single settlement and they look great. They are from a real artist who I believe died in 1980, so that's very nice. Nice little tribute in there to the pinup art style so to speak. As I said, nothing too fancy, put some decorations on the table so it doesn't look so bare and you've got a cool seating area. And now it's just basically about decorating the corridors pretty much. The corridors, as I said, they've all got the same vanilla textural wall which is a bit naff. So let's fix them with some paintings such as craftable DLC paintings. Automatron's coming out in like a week, it's brilliant. And just to give, make the place look a bit busy because if you've got the same boring old texture on the walls it makes the walls and the rooms feel very open and lonely almost so if you just put lots of decorations around to put some color back into it and make it look like it has a purpose it's much better now I needed a gym never need never actually made a gym so I decided to put a gym in there you do have lots of weights in the game so I thought why not use them a little yoga mat down there as well so you can get all your yoga energies going or your nice vibes as well as some weights so you can properly work out and be ready to take on the wasteland it makes sense in my opinion sure you get a lot of practice but it makes sense to keep on top of your fitness in the Commonwealth and put up some motivational pictures as well just to make the place seem more like a gym such as things from business settlements 1.8 standalone put some cool kind of graffiti art on the walls which looks really nice because it makes sense that if a place looks like this someone's gonna graffiti it at some point in history aren't they but you know what I think it actually works well the aesthetic and there we go that was Croup Manor rebuilt this place was a complete wreck when we found it and it was completely unusable as a settlement because of all the holes in the walls etc but we have fixed them with some mods and we've added some fantastic decorations including a beautiful front garden with an amazing shrine to me a beautiful master bedroom a cool gym we've got a nice little kitchen area and I really like this place I think it suits the fallout lore quite well but yeah, okay, it's a shame about the walls, that is definitely the worst thing. Mod author, if you can find a way to add just well-replaced walls to this place, then this place will be absolutely 10 out of 10. Until then, it's only a 9.9 .9 out of 10, says IGN. So yeah, this was Croup Manor. 
I think using the mod rebuild crew mana you really can turn this into a feasible settlement that looks really really pretty and I really like the aesthetic I've gone for. It's very similar to the last video with lots of focus on the outside and the grass etc and it's not too practical apart from the workshop. There's not actually much going on entertainment wise but you know what it's a safe place it's out of the way of all the dangers of the wasteland and it looks good. That's the main thing I think. I think it just needs to look good. So guys I've got to say it again, thank you very much for subscribing. As I said, we gained over a thousand subscribers in the last week and all of your comments and stuff have been so kind. You guys really are some of the best followers on YouTube and I really can't wait to see what else happens in the future. As I said, I've been working on two huge projects at the minute, like really huge projects and they've taken a long time. So this one was a little late, maybe two days later than I wanted, but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a comment saying hello and also if you liked it remember to check out some of my other videos such as my previous video which is at the Sunshine's Trading Cooperative and that's pretty cool it's got lots of animals it's got a swimming pool really nice settlement I think so thank you very much for watching this has been Final Render and you have been the audience until next time see you around